happy couple with a daughter that they loved very much. They lived in a beautiful manner with many wonderful things. They were kind people, especially the daughter, who loved to play with the mice and pigeons that lived in the garden. One day, the girl's mother became very sick, and the daughter and husband worried that she would not recover. And unfortunately, not long after, the mother passed away. A few years passed, and the father decided to marry a second time, and his new wife was selfish and cruel. She came to live in the beautiful manor with her two daughters, Anastasia and Drusilla, who were vain, greedy, and secretly picked their noses. Jealous of her husband's kind and gentle daughter, the stepsisters made her wear a simple peasant's dress and had her work night and day to keep the manor in tip-top shape. The stepsisters mocked her. <laughs> you always look like you're covered in ash. We'll call you Cinderella. No, my hand slipped. You should have been more careful. Cinderella, hurry up and clean this. We have to go to a flower arrangement class. <laughs> when will I finish cleaning all this? arrived from the palace. The king announced that he would be holding a ball for his son, the prince, to find a wife. The king invited every maiden to attend the grand ball, hoping that his son would find someone to love. I have a message for you from the king. Everyone is invited to the grand ball on Saturday of the coming week. He will choose a princess for the prince on the occasion. Yay! Yay! Oh, children, come over here. There is going to be a ball at the palace tonight. Let's get my precious daughters ready. The stepsisters were very excited by the possibility of becoming the prince's bride. They ordered Cinderella to make them the most beautiful at the ball. Once the stepsisters were ready for the ball, Cinderella gathered up the courage to ask her stepmother. Can I go to the ball as well? The stepmother's eyes sparkled as she looked at her and replied, Only once you have cleaned the kitchen, swept and mopped the floors, and dusted the bedrooms. These chores would take one person a week to complete. As she sat in the kitchen, surrounded by dirty pots and pans, Cinderella despaired. How will I ever clean all this mess? Someone please help me. The house mice and garden pigeons heard her cry for help and came running to her rescue. They helped Cinderella scrub and dust the manor until it sparkled. Once the manor sparkled like new, Cinderella went back to her stepmother and asked again. I have done everything you've asked. Can I go to the ball now? The stepmother looked down at Cinderella and laughed. Why, you're filthy, Cinderella. You can't go to the ball dressed like that. The prince won't want dirt all over his ballroom. The evil stepmother left for the ball with the stepsisters. Cinderella was alone in the manor with the mice and pigeons who were her only friends. Cinderella ran to the garden and wept. The pigeons and the mice felt very sorry for her. Then a rustling sound came from the bushes. A plump old woman emerged and approached Cinderella. Why so many tears from such a kind girl? The woman asked. A 
just wanted to go to the ball, but I have nothing to wear. The old woman thought, then said, As your fairy godmother, I can give you one night where all of your dreams come true. With a wave of her hand, the fairy godmother transforms Cinderella's simple dress into a beautiful gown with glass slippers fit for a queen, wondered Cinderella. With a quick flick of her wand, the fairy godmother transformed the pumpkin into a golden carriage. Thank you so much. You are now dressed like a queen. And be sure to leave the ball before the final stroke of midnight, for all my spells will disappear, warned the fairy godmother. Cinderella promised to come home before midnight and left for the ball. Cinderella arrived at the ball, and all the guests wondered who this beautiful princess was. The prince couldn't take his eyes off her. Hey, beautiful lady. May I have the pleasure of dancing with you? Yes, of course! She was having such a wonderful time with the prince that she completely forgot that midnight was coming. Suddenly, the palace clock began to strike. Bong, bong. Sorry, I have to go, she cried. Wait, come back, cried the prince running after her. In her haste, she lost one of her glass slippers. Desperate to find out who the mystery princess was, the prince declared, Every girl in the land must try on the slipper. Whoever fits this slipper will be my bride. Girl after girl tried on the slipper, but with no success. Finally, the prince arrived at Cinderella's house. Anastasia and Drusilla rammed their feet into the slipper, but it was clearly the wrong size. No woman seems to fit the glass slipper. The prince despaired. Is there no other girl in your house that has yet to try on the slipper? He asked the stepsisters. They looked at the stepmother nervously. We only have a kitchen maid. We call her Cinderella. Take me to her, ordered the prince. Cinderella was sweeping the kitchen when the prince pulled out the glass slipper and set it in front of Cinderella. Her delicate foot fit perfectly. This is my princess, announced the prince, lifting Cinderella into the air. All the mice and birds rejoiced at their love. The next morning, the prince married Cinderella and they lived happily ever after.